We spoke tonight to Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick on the phone just after the cruise announcement. He was the Texas chairman for the cruise campaign and says he will now support Donald Trump. Uh, in any other year, uh, Ted uh, wins the nomination. Uh, Donald Trump has run an unorthodox uh, and surprising race. I think it underscores how angry people are in America that uh, neither party in Washington done what their voters expect. Governor Abbott minutes ago announced via Facebook he will back the GOP nominee. But this announcement from the Texas senator came as a surprise. KXN political reporter Phil Prazen and Jim Shella from our sister station in Indianapolis have an in-depth look. Shannon, many people expected Ted Cruz to stay into this thing until at least California because he chose Carly Fiorina as his vice president. Well, that ended up not being the case. We're here with our reporter on the ground in Indiana, Jim Shella. And Jim, the question is just, why didn't he connect in Indiana? I'm not sure why. Uh, the fact is, he didn't. Ted Cruz virtually lived here for two weeks. He visited every community he could, large and small. There was even one community he wanted to visit where uh, the runway wasn't big enough for his plane. Uh, he ran TV ads here uh, to a greater degree than uh, Donald Trump did. Uh, Donald Trump held uh, just a handful of Indiana rallies, uh, and yet, uh, Indiana voters, I think, failed to see warmth in Ted Cruz. Uh, you've probably seen the reporting. He uh, was at a basketball gym and referred to a basketball hoop as a basketball ring. Uh, a small mistake, maybe, but a lot of folks saw that as uh, an example of how he didn't quite see things the way they do here. Well, thank you so much, Jim Shella, on the ground in Indiana. And we will have the latest on KXAN News tomorrow morning for more in-depth coverage. Shannon, back to you.